is up guys welcome back to the stafford way channel today we're gonna try to do some work on the cabin we do have a lot of the walls up on this back side here we're gonna try to finish that all the way around so let me show you here you know we got this wall coming along it's almost finished there in the corner and then we're gonna come over here finish this side wall and then all we have left is up to the door and to the other room the rooms pretty much finished we just need to get to the flooring so if we do finish everything uh we are gonna go and try to start on the flooring but first we got to finish the walls first so that's on the agenda today is to get those walls put up i don't know when we'll be able to start on it but for now i'm going to go show you what's going on with the goats i don't know if you can hear them but they they really mad at me right now we're doing goats trixie and tilly what y'all doing i know it's coming don't you you know it's coming, don't you? So I don't know if you can tell, but uh, little buddy over there, Toby, he's mad at me. I have him separated, so I left him in there. Yeah, I feel a little, feel a little mean about it. I did leave him in there by himself, and I haven't let him out in the uh, pasture area yet today. Or I mean, he was stuck in there all day yesterday. But what I'm trying to do is eventually separate him. I need to run my fencing straight through. I don't, you can't see it at this angle, but there's a tree back there. I want to run a fencing to it and then around for him. He don't need that much area, uh, but just enough when the grass does grow up, he'll have that out there. But he's got his little setup, you know, the water bowl, the mineral, and the food. Vice versa, I don't know which one's which right now. And then over here in the, the female goat section, we got their little food bucket here. And then I only have them a small water bowl there, but I really have a huge water bowl right outside the back of this um, that I'm going to clean out and bring in here for them. Um, and then I'm going to use that for their little mineral bucket. That way, eventually, I'll be able to keep that gate open and that gate open, and they'll have this pasture over here. He'll have his little section over there. But anyways, where I left them two out in the field yesterday, um, I'm going to lock them in today and let Toby, the, the male goat, out today into the field. So that we can kind of keep them separated because, you know, I don't want any babies anytime soon. So that's why I'm going to try to keep them separated as best I can. So now I made these hinges to where that would lock at the bottom. And I can lock this at the top. Well, I guess with all the rain and um, and all that weight put on those pallets that it's weighted down to. Now the, the locks and stuff don't necessarily work the best. So I got to fight with it. So give me like two seconds to fix this and then I'll show you some more. So um, now I'm gonna open this gate up for Toby. These latches on this one lets me unlock it here. And then this one down here from the outside, I just do that and I can open it up. Oh, and I have this latch back here to where I can lock it to the tree, keeps it from the wind blowing it. I like that a lot. Hold up, you gotta see this. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, tell him, what, what are you doing? the uh the metal will eventually go up here as well and so i'll make a little room so where he's at is also going to be the room that when we have babies they'll be in um to keep them protected from the the weather and stuff so what will happen is when that happens i'll switch them um and then so the females will be in the side with the room and he'll be on the other side and he'll have the bigger field they'll have the smaller field look at this look at this goat what what are you doing Oh, so also I'm um, feeding the normal grain that I've been feeding for the, the female goats now. Um, so that's what I'm having them eat. And then I'm also giving a little bit of that same feed now to the male, but I'm trying to wean him off of that. So what I'm doing is kind of mixing it to that way I can wean him off of that feed. Yeah, you just really want to be careful on what feed you're giving your goats um just because on your male goats if you give them too much grain uh for too long they're going to eventually get these kidney stones and when they get those kidney stones there's not much you can do to save them so what i have is this alfalfa pellets here and then i got the goat minerals and i'm just giving the goat minerals as free choice so i'm just putting that in there for them and they can you know look on it as they want i give them to be honest i'm, I'm not gonna lie i don't really measure it out but I give them about two quarts um, of their feed. So I'm gonna give him about a quart in there. And then what I'm gonna do is mix that with some of this alfalfa. 
Um, I'm gonna go into his little room here. Okay, so when I get into his side, what I'm gonna do is just dump that in there. Now you can see it's mixed in there. So I got the, the goat minerals here, and uh, usually you give it free choice so they, they can take care of themselves. And I just usually take about a handful. So they got their feed here. I take about a handful. Just sprinkle it in there. Mix that up for them a little bit. Get a little bit more there. And sprinkle that in there. That way, it's kind of like a salt block almost. Uh, concentration. You're just going to put it in there for them. And they can get that, that extra minerals that they need from their feed there. Uh, we don't need this anymore. Okay, so I'm going to take these minerals. And we're going to go into our gate here. There's a lot of stop and go. Yeah, squeeze through. And now where I got the gate open here, he's going to be scared of me. All I do with this little bowl is sprinkle his in there. I give him quite a bit. That way it kind of fills the bottom there. So it's kind of like he can just lick on it when he needs it. And I'll do that every day for him. So he has his minerals. And then I need to clean out his water, but he has his water in there. And then he's got his little mixture of feet. So I just had to come back and tell you this story. I uh, I walked away towards the cabin over there. And uh, I got all the way to the cabin. was in there for a second or two. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if I shut that gate. This door is open back there. And my gate's open. <sighs> that could have been bad. And so all I have holding it is this little log. I don't have a latch yet. So I just put this log there. That way, if they push it, it gets caught on this little mud bank. They ain't going nowhere. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that could have been funny. So we went on and got those other two um, walls finished there and then we continued over. We got around the window area, got this last board here and then we'll have to cut about a foot for that those two studs there to finish that wall. Um, and then we'll just have this one wall left and we'll be done. Well, well actually we got this wall also but that, that one doesn't have any insulation or, or too much uh, wiring there to worry about. So that one won't be as hard. But yeah, so we're getting there. I think our hardest section is gonna be right here by the door because we got the um, bigger outlet here. Well, actually these are switches. We got the bigger switches here and then we have the outlet down there. Yeah, and we have a bunch of wiring going through there. So these clips right here are really, really nice. Um, we just actually hit one over here doing this. I don't know if I can still show you where it was, um, but right by the outlet here, um, I hit one into there and where I put that metal plate in there, it hit that and it bent it all up so that way we didn't hit the wire. Those things are really nice, especially if you're using a nail gun, like I said in the previous video, cause you know, you accidentally hit that. It's not a good day, <laughs> not a good day. So we put those metal clips in. I got some more to do on this wall, um, but they're just really there for extra safety and I like that. Um, but yeah, so today's video shows you what I got going with the goats. One day I wanna get out there and put that fence up, the divider for the goats, and show you some more done on the cabin. So we're getting there, almost done for the walls, and then we'll get to go to the flooring and the ceiling. Um, so that's the next goal. But uh, I appreciate everyone watching. Um, we we enjoy seeing all the uh, people commenting and liking our videos and, and showing some support, support for us. So we appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy, please hit that like and subscribe button. It's completely free. But anyways, we will see you in the next video. Peace.